Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Bro, what's up, Nelson? Now, what nation of people you come from? Who's the one saying you come from Africa? Bro, you're not telling you where you from. What's up, Nelson? Now, they say you from Africa. So, book of First Timothy, chapter two, verse eleven. Let the woman learn in silence. The Bible says, "Let you sit there and be quiet while the scriptures coming out." That's what the Bible says. That's what you do. Be quiet when the scriptures coming out. That's what the Bible says. Yeah. Yeah, let the, the woman learn in silence in the with, with all subjection. Oh, so I suffer dust and the woman to see. You can't teach no man out here nothing. Especially about that with a proper shirt on. Find the word fuck you in the body. Lord Jesus took authority over the bank. You got no control over nobody out here. There's none. But to be in silence. But to be in silence. The most high God that you think you're praying to says, shut up. Now let's go back to uh, Deuteronomy 28. Now, bro, like I was saying, what nation of people you come from? You know what I mean when I say what nation of people? What nas what's your nationality? When you fill out that, get that application for that job, right? You check something in the box. No, no. What you put in the box, bro? Are you high? You high? Okay. Go, go, um, what's great to is, um, 3 and 17. You want something high? We saw you what the most I said about that, right? Because, a lot of people, we do these things, we get drunk, we get high, because we, what we want to do is get away from the reality of what's really going on, right? Because when I'm that way, I don't got no more care. But when you sober up, what happens, though? What happens when you get back to kind of reality? You still gonna owe them same bills. Right. You still gonna have that same woman sitting at the house that you had. And same child support you own will still be the same thing you want. Ain't none of that gonna change. No right. matter. So that ain't the way you're supposed to be. Read. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3, verse 16. Mm -hmm. Bring it out. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. It said, know ye not that you are the temple of God, right? And I'm assuming, which I shouldn't do, that you don't know that you got the temple of God. That your body is the temple of God. Do you know that? Did you know that your body is the temple of God? Because your body, your body is not like his body, your temple. He's not here to say he's the temple of God. His Bible was written for and to and about one group of people. Right. That's why we can sit here and I can tell you that. That's why I asked you that. Say, do you know that you, your body is the temple of God? It's not for everybody. I'm specifically talking to you. Your body. The so-called African American, Native American, and Hispanic man, they had a temple of God. Read. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. Now, the Spirit of God will dwell in you, right? Now, when you go home tonight, and you walk and you open your door, and it's full of smoke, can you go in there? Can you walk in there? You're not, right? You can't do that. So why would you want the most high word? How are you going to dwell on you when you ain't in your right state of mind? You know what I'm saying? When you, when you are, you say, I feel good now too though. But that causes you to commit some other sin. That gonna build that lust up in you. That gonna build that other stuff. All the things that you can't do when you sober, it's gonna build no wants and desires up in you to go do it. How you think both the little brothers out here, 12 and 13, killing each other? What they do? They go get them a bottle, and they go get hot. They ain't just walking around killing each other, sober up, wake up nine in the morning, I'm just gonna go shoot this brother. They take the whole day and they do that, why? That's because our age men ain't standing up teaching them nothing. Read. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. See, that's how you end up. Then you make that decision. I did this wrong. I went in the stove. I was high. And I hit the wrong lady on the behind. Now when you come outside, God gonna judge you because the husband out there, he gonna kill you. Right. 
Don't all the mistakes you make because you decided, well, I'm at high and I, I'm, I'm gonna get high and I do what do it because I wanna help take these problems away. The way you cover to get these problems away is through the most high. Read. For the temple of if any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. Uh -huh. For the temple of God is holy. It's separate. God ain't got no, it ain't no five or six of them temples right around. The most high of you Israelites are the ones that hold the temple of God. Read. Which temple ye are? Which you are. Give me two run seven and six. So I'm gonna show you that you ain't just no anybody. Y'all ain't just everybody. Y'all ain't just regular people walking around on the street. When you think you're ordinary, you do ordinary things. You can't believe in yourself that you can do something. But we will show you that you can. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. Uh -huh. For thou art in holy people uh -huh. unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. Now, you ask yourself, why would God choose you out of all the people? Why are you like you are if God chose you? Right. What make you special? Why would God choose you? Why are you special? Why I'm sitting out here, I'm catching the bus. But LeBron James, though, he puts in a beard. People on the other side of the street in New Orleans, they got big houses in Lakefront. They still up all the water, chilling. But why our people, we down here in the slums and the ghettos of the world? Why? The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people. Above all people. Look at that first people joining up. Above all people. You're special. But nobody, you can't feel you're special because look at the things you do. You want to hide with your drugs, you want to hide with your alcohol. The book of 1 Peter, chapter 2, verse 9. But ye are a chosen generation. You are a chosen generation. No matter how much you hate it, how much you don't want to be, you're chosen. You're chosen to be special. You're not supposed to be out here murderers and killing each other. Passing on the STD. If you got an STD, you're supposed to keep that thing to yourself. Live and die with that by yourself. Loving your brother ain't passing it on. How can the STD rate grow if you keeping it to yourself? You, it could never grow, could it? It would never grow. It would be one or two people who had this disease. But no, what do you do? You hate your brother because you hate yourself. Read. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. A royal priesthood. The blacks and Spanish and Native Americans, you're supposed to be standing out here with me, teaching each other, waking up our people. That's what we're supposed to be doing and holy nation and peculiar people but y'all strange as hell that was the bible said god even said that the most i said y'all peculiar and strange but he loved y'all though read that ye should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness but the most high right now we try to call each and every one of y'all out of the darkness that you're in you're up at this time of the day one o'clock you out here drunk why you out here high in the middle of the day why because you're trying to hide behind something that you can't. You ain't, ain't gonna go away. As soon as you get through, the same problem is gonna be your problem, man. Only way you're gonna change is to come back and change your life and repent through the words of God. That's what we try to teach y'all. But y'all take it as hostility. Because y'all ain't used to a black man talking to y'all that know what he's talking about. Read. Who had called you out of darkness into his marvelous light? And into his marvelous light. That's it. What the marvelous light is? Knowing who you are. You can't get the kingdom if you don't know who you are. Right. He ain't just letting no eat. No, go up and say, oh, I'm a Baptist. Your ass ain't getting in. Ye are the children of Israel. That's what we out here trying to teach you. We, that's what we out here trying to teach you. Go back to Deuteronomy 28. We're going to bring these curses out. And hopefully you can identify and realize that we are talking to you. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. See, now the Most High is going to give you some circumstances that will happen if you don't listen to the Most High God. If you don't listen, that means it's something's going to happen. That's what we're going to show you. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. And to do all his commandments. That's the thing that if you don't know the commandments, why not come up and let the men of the Lord teach you those commandments so you'll learn those commandments. Right. You, you can't dress any way you want to dress. You can't eat anything you want to eat. Bring it up. You can't just go spend your money like you want to spend your money. It ain't like that. You're not supposed to buy on the Sabbath day. You're not supposed to cook on the Sabbath day. Hell, y'all don't even know what day that is. That's why you're supposed to come up here and let the men of the Lord teach you those things. Stop being in your feelings and being sensitive about everything. Let us show you. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes 
which I command thee this day. His statutes and commandments we command you to do this day. They ain't never changed the commandments. They never went nowhere. Read. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now I know every and every one of y'all, especially if you're over your 30s and your 40s, that you realize sometimes you wake up and say, why do these things happen to me? Why am I going through these things right now? Why is this, why is my life the way it is? No one here has a question of why your life is the way it is. Why are these things happening to me? Why, why can't I come up? Why can't I get ahead? And why am I on this spot? And why are the rest of them on that side? Why can't I come up like them? Read. Verse 16. Uh -huh. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. Say cursed shalt thou be in the city. If y'all don't think no other cursed place for you to be, I don't know what to tell you. Because you can see right now, everywhere is not like New Orleans. You don't, everywhere is not getting murder rates. Don't, you don't deport five black people. And it's not everybody in the city of New Orleans that's dying. It's just you so-called blacks who spend the name of America. Right. Most of you blacks. Why are you just dying at a high rate? What do you say, big bro? Why are we dying off the way we dying in the city, bro? No, that's the typical question. That's the typical answer. Nobody knows. We're trying to show you that's what we out here to do. Read. Curse shall thou be in the city. And curse shall thou be in the city. And curse shall thou be in the field. And curse shall you be in the field. They say, oh, they tell you, don't, don't worry about slavery, don't forget about it. What's the difference? They ain't picking cotton from sun up to sundown. You working at McDonald's the same way. You got your slagging fries the same way from sun up to sundown. You ain't coming up. They let you get your own place now. Master ain't just walking in the house waving your wife in front of you, just doing it. But we give her a raise. To get that raise, what you think she gonna do? She gonna do what she gonna do. Read. Curse shall be thy basket and thy store. Uh -huh. Curse shall be the fruit of thy body. Curse shall be the fruit of your body. What's the fruit of your body? Your kids. Curse your kids. You thinking that I say I want to make a better opportunity for myself and for my kids. What the most I just said? Curse shall be thy fruit. Uh -huh. Excuse me. Curse shall be the fruit of thy body uh -huh. and the fruit of thy land. Now, your, your crops won't grow. Nothing. Your kids, your crop. Most I say everything about you gonna be cursed if you fall under these curses as an Israelite. That ain't got nothing to do about your skin complexion. It's got to do with the blood running through your veins, though. The increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep. All right, chop down. Let's go uh, 23. Verse, 23. Yeah. verse 23. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thy enemies. Before your enemies. The Most High will cause you to be smitten before your enemies. What's the key? The Most High using the word enemies. Uh-huh. Read. Thou shalt go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them. You're going to go out here thinking you're going to whoop somebody, but you know what? Most High say you're going to run, you're going to run it back, you're going to run away from them. You can't do anything without the Most High. You understand? Bro, you know what I'm? We out here teaching our people, the so-called blacks. We say so-called because that's not their real nationality. You know what I'm saying? So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, their true nationality according to the Bible. Because I can tell by your age, as you, you grew up, once they were called, we were called black, Negro, then we were Afro-American in the 60s. Then we became Afro-African-American. You know what I'm saying? And now we get, you know, tell what they're going to call it in the next couple of years, right? So why is it that we don't have our true nationality, what we call ourselves? Why does ours keep changing nobody else's keep changing? Exactly. We don't want to know who we are. Now, if I was to ask you, what, who is your, what's your nationality? What do you say your nationality is? Okay, said a lot, dude, but okay, I got you. So, you know you're an Israelite, right? You know you got to keep the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High, right? All right, so, give me a Deuteronomy 10 and 12. We'll start right there. All right, bro, this this for you, read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? Now, bro, he just said, did you know that the Most High, the most high has requirements? You do? You know he got some requirements? What's some, what's some of them requirements that he have? You trim your beard? 
Come on up, bro. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So we ain't got to holler back and forth. Come on up close. All right, come on up and learn something, bro. Come on up, come on up. Hallelujah. Yeah. All right. What's so, up, so you say you trim your beard off, right? And you know you're Israel. Why you trim your beard off? Because I feel that in this captivity, there's certain things that we're gonna have to do to make it. Song that my love and the tears. Already, you believe? Well, let me ask you this: Do you believe in the death of the Son? Do I believe in Jesus? Yeah. Yes, I believe in Jesus. We okay. it's Israel united in Christ. That, That's what we that are. Right there. Now let me see. Let me give you. Let me tell you Saved why. Us. Uh -huh. Let me, so let me give you certain things because oh. we, we couldn't even follow so, the Lord in the old. All right. Let me tell you. Let me give you that today. Listen to yeah, this. Listen to this. Hold on one second. Yeah. The Book of Psalms, chapter one, eleven, verse ten. Uh -huh. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, right? Correct. Uh -huh. A good understanding have all things that do His commandments. His praise endureth forever. So all those who keep His commandments, that's how you get your understanding, correct? Right. Now what you're doing? Give me uh, Proverbs uh, twenty-eight thirteen. Uh, Proverbs twenty-eight thirteen. Do what you're doing, right? You made an excuse, right? You got a reason. You're reasoning out what you're doing, but you're not keeping the commandments. And by you not keeping the commandments, you ain't gonna have no understanding on this. That's oh, what the yes, Bible said. The Bible I'm said that. All right. Real. The book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 13. Uh -huh. He that covered his sins. He that covered his sins, meaning he that making an excuse for his sin. You making an excuse for your sin right now. That's what you're doing. So not prosper. You ain't gonna prosper, bro. That's the point. That's what we tell you. You can't. Wow. You said that. You understood that, though, right? Huh? You understood that. I understood that. I understood that a whole yeah. lot of people like, gonna be in the kingdom and don't. But who's so confessing and forsaking them? Gonna be in the kingdom you know, they're, they're, they're before you preaching out here in the corner so is against what the Most High Word. And forsaking you know them. You said Christ is preaching the streets. Oh, no. Uh, you said Christ didn't preach in the congregation. He preached in the congregation. Give me on Luke 13, and, 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 verse 26. Let me say something, brother. Hey, hold on, hold on, brother. Let me tell you. Ain't nobody can keep the laws of Deuteronomy. Ain't nobody can keep the laws. Ain't nobody right. can keep on, the laws on. of Deuteronomy when he was here. The book of Luke, so chapter keep 14, up? verse 23. In, in, in the book of Luke, high, chapter 14, verse 23. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in. So, bro, how are we going to go out? We go out to the highways and the hedges and compel them to come in. How are they not going to come in if we're not out here? Where are we going to compel them to come in at? So, how are we going to compel them to come in? Right? We are we experts. We're not ex experts. Because you ain't got a beard. It's a sin. It's huh? a sin. It's That's, a sin, right? It's, everything is sin. Everything is not you sin. Give me a sin. Oh, my God. Sin. You ain't living in no what's sin in this captivity. Hey, you're not living in sin at all. If you're not living in sin at all, ain't no use to talk to you. Are you, do you, are you living in sin? Are you living in sin? No. Come on, bro. Hey, hey, you let me answer. Don't run off. Come on, stay. Don't go. Bro. Hey, come on. Well, that was that. Well, we still, like we said, we try to teach our people the true nationality with 22. Yeah. But uh, we try to teach our people their true nationality and their history according to the Bible. Right. You can't keep the commandments. The commandments never died, never went away. Come on, bro, what's your nationality? Let me talk to you. You got a minute? Come on. Nobody never, y'all, how y'all don't have a minute to talk about the Bible, but y'all can sit on this bench and listen to it. And when I say something you don't like, y'all all got a comment. But nobody got to go say anything when I'm standing up here. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. 
IUIC, we deliver the truth.